students, students of class 5th, here your math teacher Antika Ra is going to teach you chapter number 13. It is all about perimeter and area and volume. So, will you know what is perimeter? Total length of the boundary of a plain closed figure is called its perimeter. For example, the perimeter of adjoining figure is sum of the length of its sides. Perimeter is like it is given example 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 15 centimeter. We use symbol P for perimeter. A plane figure that has line segment as its boundary is called a rectilinear figure. Thus, a triangle, rectangle, squares, etc. are rectilinear figures. Got it? Okay. Now we will do our recall exercise that are very easy. See? <clears throat> Just add all the numbers 4 plus 5 plus 7. That is 16. So answer is 16 centimeter is the perimeter. 1.52 meter. So it is 3.5. Then it is 4.5. 3.5 and then it is 5. Totally 5. And then it is 1, 6. 6 and 2 is 8. So it is 8 meter. Next is 3, 4, 2, 2. 2 and 2 is 4. 4 and 4 is 8. 8 and 3 is 11. So it is 11 centimeter. Find the perimeter of the following figure using a thread or ruler. We have this type of circles, so we can't make it with scale, so it will be used by the thread method only. Now students, come to our exercise number 13.1. In that length is given, breadth is given, but we have to take out the perimeter. So what is the formula of perimeter is 2 into with the bracket length plus breadth. Okay, so what will be the answer? 80 plus 55 we will add. When we add, we multiply with 2. So here when we talk about perimeter, we always do the multiplication. After that, 2 is going to be multiplied when we add the length and breadth both so when we multiply it when we add it and after that multiplying the answer will come 270 centimeter that is perimeter when we add 15 and 13 answer will come 28 then we 15 and 13 meter is going to be multiplied then your answer will get like this okay now when we plus 3.25 and 1.25 answer will come in 4 like 4 4 meter and 25 25 is 50 so then we have to multiply with 2 okay that then we will get our perimeter so 15 and 13 is 28 then 28 into 2 is 56 here also 4.25 5 will come and we will multiply with 2 that will answer is coming 9 meter now 4.5 and 3 is 7.5 and then we multiply it the answer will come 7 then we multiply it okay then our answer will come like this it is coming 15 here Okay, 15, it is centimeter. So, this is done. Now, we will do squares perimeter also. Squares formula is perimeter of a square is uh, side into 4. 4 into side, you can say. So, 8 fours are 32. This is centimeter is the answer because square has all the sides equal. 12 fours are 48. Centimeter is the answer. Now it is 21.8 centimeters. So just multiply with 
what we have to do is we have to multiply with 4 8 into 4 is 32 12 into 4 is 48 21 into 21.8 is 87 into 2 decibel 2 and 21 meter is 84 meter then we multiply with 4 the answer will come 30 point 48 centimeter 18 into 4 is 72 meter now find the perimeter of a triangle whose dimensions are already given so what you have to do is you have to add you have to plus 5 plus 6 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 4 is 5 is 15 so 15 centimeter is the answer now 4.9 so 13.9 centimeter when we add it we when we add these we will get 20.5 when we add 8 centimeter 11 centimeter 13 centimeter we will get 32 centimeter likewise now complete the following complete the table square perimeter is given and side we have to take out the side so what we have to do is we have to divide it we have to just up make it opposite so Four fives are twenty, so answer will come here five centimeter. Okay, when you multi, when you divide it, you will get five. Forty-eight divided by four is twelve centimeter. Then four threes are twelve and zero, so it is thirty centimeter. Now, you know the formula of length formula of perimeter it is length is given and breadth is not given so what you are going to do is perimeter is all about when we multiply but now here we will divide how we will divide we will see first of all we have to minus it means 72 into 2 is going to be less from 236 then whatever is coming we have to divide with 2. Then only we will get our breadth, length and perimeter is already given. Yeah. Now perimeter is that side 1, side 2, side 3 is given. So what we are going to do is we are going to add 2 sides and for third side we have to minus it from the number. So answer will come here 36. 36 centimeter now perimeter is not given so what we have to do is 55 plus 49 plus 66 that answer will come 170 and it is in centimeter only now it is meter 225 meter is given, 75 and 75 is given, but the first side is not given. So what we are going to do is 225, we can say minus 150 also. So answer will come again 75. So three sides, both the sides, three of the side of triangle are equal. So this is 75 m meter. So when we want to know about the perimeter that is of equatorial triangle in that all the sides are equal. So just multiply with 3 you can do that or you can do 6.5 plus 6.5 plus 6.5. You will get the same answer that is 19.5 centimeter. Now perimeter of a triangle we know that 20 centimeter is the perimeter. We know the sides are 4.2 and 9 centimeter respectively. Find the third side. If we want to know the third side, we have to add both the sides and when after that, we have to minus it from 20. So we will get, we will get 6.8 centimeter is the answer. Okay, students. We want to know the area. What we are going to do is the formula of finding area is side into side. So just multiply the same number, the same number of side that is 10 meter, 10 meter into 10 meter is 100 meter. Side 19 meters, so answer is 360 meter square. 
25 centimeter answer is 625 meter centimeter square 8.3 meter is the side one side so answer is 68.89 meter square side is 28 meter so answer is 784 meter square 12 centimeter means 144 centimeter square is the area now area for rectangle of plot is like this and a breadth is this so what how you will you are going to get the length when you divide it when you divide it you will find 138 meter is the answer of the length now complete the following table in that breadth is given but area is also given but length is not given so we are going to divide it six nines are 54 is the answer 27 length is there breadth is not there but area is there so just divide it with by 27 you will get 15 meter 36 meter is the length and breadth is not given area is given 90 meter square so you are just going to divide by 36 answer will come 2.5 meter next is 40 centimeter is not given we have calculated it 17 centimeter and 680 centimeter square is given area is given so how to take out length when we divide 17 for the 68 and just put zero so it is 40 centimeter 12.5 centimeter this is a length and area is 75 centimeter square what is the breadth that is 6 centimeter when we divide it by 12.5 centimeter like this now which is larger area squares or the rectangular area rectangular area has 19 meter into 8 but in area larger area squares 19 into 19 the same number so 361 is the main is the, is larger area more than the rectangular part of that thing now students 13.3 exercise is all about find the square area so for area you have to do multiplication in side into side 64 is the side you have to multiply it again with 64 then 64 meter into 64 meter is 4096 meter square second point is how many tiles of dimensions 24 centimeter into 15 centimeter will be required to cover a floor 18 meter long and 12 meter wide so it is also rectangular and tile is also of rectangular shape its dimension is 360 and that dimension is 221600 centimeter when you divide it you will get the answer 60 tile okay got it yes now next the side of a square hole hall measure 80 meter each square it is square that's why it is 80 meter each find the area what you have to do is you have to multiply with the same number that is 80 into 80 the same number and then answer will come 600 6400 meter square when you divide it with 0 0.50 per square meter you will get the answer in rupees 12800 rupees will be expend on that to make the entire floor now find the cost of fencing square fencing square park of side 110 meter at the rate of 15 per meter it is written square it is square fencing means you have to fence it you don't have to to cover the area but fence fence means already it is perimeter so 110 is going to be multiplied by 4 110 is going to be multiplied by 4 answer will come 450 and if it is 450 and 1 per meter its rate is 15 so how much is the rate to get its fencing so what you are going to do you have to multiply it again 450 into 15 is going to be multiplied so answer will come here 600 6600 rupees okay got it now distance covered by a boy in going five times around the square shaped park 
1025 meter what is the area of the park it is it is given in that five times around the square so first of all you have to divide with five so here is answer will come 205 this is the answer 205 meter now perimeter of a rectangular garden is 160 meter and it's if it is 10 meter wide find its area perimeter is given hana and the area is not given when the area is not given and the another side is also not given so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply 10 into 2 is 20 okay then minus it with 20 so answer will come 140 140 is going to be divided by 2 140 is going to be divided by 2 so answer will come here 70 so 70 meter length is there and breadth is there 70 into 10 is 700 area is 700 meter and the square sign is not there so i have to make the draw method also so here i'm drawing meter square this will be the answer so we have done our 13.3 or exercise also yes exercise number 3.4 in that we have to know about the volume volume is when we know it is in liquid form also or we can say if it is liter milliliter but when we want to know about the volume of a thing in that area length breadth and height is consist of volume so here find the volume of cuboid whose dimensions are given below so 18 into breadth it is 12 and height when you multiply all the three numbers you will get answer 1512 okay centimeter cube because it is in cube it is three in numbers okay next is 12.5 into 10 into 5 answer will be 625 cube centimeter cube next is 15.36 15 point when you multiply it 48 when you multiply 4.8 it is not 48 it is 4.8 into 3.2 into 1 you will get 15.36 meter cube length length is 28 okay then 15 then 10 it is 4200 centimeter square cube cube it is cube it's not square it is cube centimeter okay now find the volume of a cube whose each side is given below so your, what you have to do is 9 into 9 into 9. Answer will come 729. 729 is the answer. Centimeter cube. Now, when it is 3.5 into 3.5 into 3.5, so answer will come here 4242 point here it comes 42.875 centimeter cube okay got it now 1.3 into 1.3 into 1.3 is two point point one nine seven 
is the answer in meter. Now, 42 centimeter, 42 centimeter into 42 centimeter into 42 centimeter, answer is 74088 centimeter cube. 74088 centimeter cube. Now, length is given, breadth is not given, height is given, and volume is given. So, what you are going to do is you have to multiply 15 into 12. You get 180. Then just divide it. 180 is going to be divided. Answer will come in 2. Breath is 2 meter. Okay. Now, next is 7. It comes here 7 meter. And next is, here it comes 5. Okay, 5 meter. Now, volume of a cube is, volume is given and we have to find out the length. When we have to find out the length, what we have to do is, we have to make it in a three columns and that we have to do the division part also. So, for this we have to find out the cube. The cube is length of its side. They both are equal. 7 meter is the answer. Now, find the volume of a big carton completely packed with 12 cuboidal boxes, each measuring 8 centimeter and 15 centimeter into 22 centimeter. So, this is the volume of a box if we want to know about the 12 boxes volume what we have to do is we have to multiply it again 2640 is going to be multiplied again into 12 so answer here will come 31680 centimeter cube this is the proper volume of a carton so here students we have come to an end our 13th chapter in that we are going to do chapter checkup okay we are going to do chapter checkup the unit of a perimeter is the same as a unit of perimeter is the same as it is land area volume no no it is none of these it is come it will come none of these because every everything has its units unit of perimeter of same as the unit of length area and volume it is length if it is in meter then meter is will will be there if it is centimeter centimeter will be there like likewise okay now square has perimeter 84 centimeter its area is if you know that uh, perimeter is equals to side into 4, it is multiplied. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to divide. So, answer here will come 21. And then, if we multiply 21 into 21, then we will get our answer of area also. Okay. So, 21 into 21 is 441 centimeters square. Area for square is side into side. Three one centimeter cubes are joined end to end. Volume of the solid so formed is one into one into one. So it is one always get one centimeter cube. Now the number of one centimeter squares that can be fit in a square of area 16 centimeter is when we want it to be fit, it will be it will be four. And 4, 4, the 16 is the answer. So, this, is, this will be our answer. Now, students, find the area and perimeter both. Perimeter is like a boundary and area is the full part. The school ground whose length is 130 meter and breadth is 58 meter. You have to take out the formula and you have to fit them into the formulas. Now, square table has an area of 16 centimeter cube. Find the length of its side. Find its perimeter also. 
that you have already done in the in this chapter and you are going to do it in your class work now sneha aquarium measures 100 cm 60 cm and 40 cm riya aquarium measures 120 cm 50 cm and 35 cm whose aquarium is larger volume by how much so first of all just multiply as it is it is like 100 into 60 into 40 answer is coming here i am going to write answer is coming 240000 okay now aquarium of riya is 120 into 50 into 35 so answer is coming 30000 so which is bigger obviously it is of riya's and 6 6000 it is 30000 and it is sneha's aquarium is bigger because it is 2 lakh 40000 and how much it is bigger 2 lakh 10000 bigger okay now find the length of a cuboid carton whose length is 15 meter 15 into 10 into then you will get the volume and then the height is going to be covered now standard a3 sheet of a paper has 297 mm breadth and 420 mm length what will be the area area is length into breadth and covered by the sheet when kept by the table on the table now dinesh has a square chart paper of side 20 cm means the side is 20 cm he wishes to cut small square each of sides 5 cm from the chart how many squares will dinesh have so what you have you are going to do is you are going to multiply with 20 into 20 is 2 to the 4 and then 20 will come behind so it is 400 cm square 400 cm divided by 5 is 80 so answer will come here 80 80 pieces how many ice cubes h 2 cm can be fit into this measurement so just take out the measurement of 2 cm you will get the answer 2 into 2 into 4 into 9 so answer is coming 72 cm 72 cm divided by 2 is Two threes are six, and thirty-six pieces will be coming. Thirty-six pieces, the thirty-six ice piece, ice cubes can be can we say ice cubes will come in the area of in this volume of tray we can say. Okay, so we have done our chapter number thirteen. Hope you have enjoyed this chapter. Okay, students, bye.